Use Pop. Seven Hour National Update Course 2022 through 2023, Chapter 2. Fair Housing Update Critical New Information for Appraisers Quiz. Uh, number one An appraiser is required by the blank to be aware of and comply with applicable fair housing laws and regulations that apply to the appraiser or to the assignment. Ready, set, go. A, advisory opinion 16. B, jurisdictional exemption rule. C, competency rule or D, record keeping rule. I'm gonna go C, competency rule. Good job, you answered correctly. So we're, okay, let's go to the next one. Number two. Protected classes under the Fair Housing Act include all of the following except, ready, set, go, income level, national origin, religion, disability, I'm going to go income level, and that is correct, and number three, according to the U.S. Department of Justice, the Fair Housing Act blank real property appraisers according to the u.s department of justice the fair housing act something real property appraisers okay ready set go a is optional for b exempts c applies to or d protects i'm gonna go applies to and you answer correctly Page 11, ECOA, General Information. The Equal Credit Opportunity Act, ECOA, originally passed Congress in 1974. More than a decade before USPAP was created. ECOA prohibits discrimination by a creditor, that's highlighted, in any aspect of a credit transaction on the basis of race, color, religion, national origin, sex, martial status, age, an applicant's receipt of public assistance or the good faith exercise of an applicant's rights under the Consumer Credit Protection Act, 15 U.S.C. 1691. Like the Fair Housing Act, the Equal Credit Opportunity Act has been interpreted to prohibit discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. ECOA prohibits discrimination by creditors. The term creditor is defined in ECOA's implementing regulations as a person who in the ordinary course of business, regularly participates in a credit decision, including setting the terms of the credit. That's highlighted. Per information provided by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, the ECOA prohibits discrimination in any aspect of a credit transaction. The ECOA is not limited to consumer loans. It applies to any extension of credit, including extensions of credit to small businesses, corporations, partnerships, and trusts. In making a credit decision, lenders are not permitted under ECOA to rely on any appraisal that they know or should have known is discriminatory.
a lender held liable in this scenario might seek indemnification or other relief from the appraiser who completed the appraisal in question. And then it's showing uh, some links to some cases. C12 CFR 128.11. No savings association may use or rely upon an appraisal of a dwelling which the savings association knows or reasonably should know is discriminatory per se or in effect under the Fair Housing Act of 1968 or the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. In the fair housing context, see also 24 CFR 100.135 D1, which prohibits using an appraisal of residential real property in connection with the sale, rental, or financing of any dwelling where the person knows or reasonably should know that the appraiser improperly takes into consideration race, color, religion, sex, handicap, familial status, or national origin. End of page. Page 12. More on ECOA. An entity does not need to be a bank or lender to qualify as a creditor under ECOA. A person who, in the ordinary course of business, regularly participates in a credit decision also qualifies. Whether and if so under what circumstances an appraiser could be considered to participate in a credit decision has not been adjudicated it is likely these types of issues may be clarified in the future by an interpretation used by the CFPB, the courts and slash or by any entity charged with its administration. The full text of the ECOA and some guidance related to the law can be found on the website uh, of the CFPB, which is the entity charged with administering and enforcing the act. To date, they have not published guidance specifically for appraisers. The CFPB has published guidance intended for consumers and lenders which helps explain how the law is interpreted per the CFPB website. The following is stated. The Bureau may enforce the law by filing an action in federal district court or by initiating an administrative adjudication proceeding. Page 13, ECOA. ECOA and its implementing regulations prohibit discrimination by creditors. The term creditor is defined quite broadly, however, and includes anyone who, in the ordinary course of business, regularly participates in a credit decision, including by setting the terms of credit, such as the amount to be loaned. Although courts have not yet definitively addressed the question, appraisers may be considered to be participating in a credit transaction under ECOA and therefore count as creditors. ECOA also defines credit broadly. Under ECOA, a transaction counts as credit if it involves a right to defer payment of a debt 
or purchase property or services and defer payment therefore all types of credit are covered whether for personal or commercial purposes secured or unsecured or short term or long term if a lender relies on an appraisal or evaluation etc that is discriminatory regardless of the intent of the appraiser the appraiser and the lender may both be held liable for illegal discrimination. For additional information on ECOA, see Appendix D of the downloadable material for this chapter. End of page.